This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Coming up on Destructoid, Aliens Colonial Marines shows off some gameplay footage, PSN wants you to play Street Fighter, and we've got a special guest in the studio today, so stay tuned. Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scovel. She was threatening me during the intro. She was <laughs> threatening me. Happy Wednesday, Max. Happy Wednesday. I'm not going to argue with you. You're, you're no, the... you're not. It's a happy Wednesday, yeah. you know. Um, I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased today. we got a special guest joining mm -hmm. us yeah, later in show. the show. We get to play some um, games. Yeah. We're going to PAX really this fun. weekend, so let's let's jump into the news let's so we can the leave. So you people may recall a couple of weeks ago, PlayStation announced this new annual PSN Play program they're doing where they release a game every week for a month. Well, it just so happens that that kicks off today, starting with Street Fighter III Third Strike Online Edition, which Jonathan Holmes happened to review on Destructoid.com a couple days ago. He gave it a 9 out of 10, saying that includes a ton of new content, the best set of bonuses he's seen in a downloadable fighting game, and this is a direct quote, the single most compelling and well-balanced roster in a Street Fighter title to date. Whoa! I know! So just to break it down for you guys, the game includes uh, 20 playable characters, over 200 pieces of unlockable content, over 100 trials and challenges, and, you know, of course, HD graphics. So that came out today. It's priced right now at $14.99 if you buy it as part of the Play program. You get free day one D DLC, which lets you unlock Gil, who is one of Street Fighter's sassier characters. What you see the there, hell? he's giving you the, the hand, he looks so like don't a talk to him. like Rangers fan. <laughs> also, PlayStation Plus subscribers get 20% off of all the games, and if you buy all four of them, you um, actually by September 19th, you have to buy all four of them. You get Payday the Heist for free, which Max and I can attest to is a really awesome game. It's much better um, than the candy bar with the same name. It's yeah. Really good. It's a fun, fun game. Oh, paydays are actually Another terrible. Good. Continue okay. the news. Um, we're we're going to have more coverage on the rest of the PSN Play games as they come out, but if you want to know more about them now, they have a bunch of info up at us.playstation.com slash PSN Play. So go check it out if you're curious. So one game that all non-idiots should be excited about on some level is Aliens Colonial Marines. And we've been very gradually drip-fed footage and screens ever so slowly from Gearbox's cock tease of a PR department. The latest trailer, though, gives us plenty to look at. The game, if you've forgotten, is four-player drop-in, drop-out co-op set in the Aliens universe between Aliens and Alien 3. And obviously, you play as one of the Colonial Marines. Duh. Uh, and you're sent to investigate the disappearance of the USS Sulaco, the, the ship from um, Aliens. Now, a lot of this trailer is material I saw at E3, which was impressive when I saw it with Randy Pitchford shouting at us, and it's still impressive now. I'm really excited by the lighting effects, which look um, beautiful. Look at that. Good God. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to say one thing right now. This is a scientific fact, and no one can argue on this. Everything looks more terrifying when it's in the beam of a flashlight. That's true. Um, yeah. No, I don't care if it's a deer or an alien or like a birdbath. It's... it's you shine a flashlight on something in the dark, it's gonna look scary. So that being said, I'm not gonna be playing this game while I'm home alone in a dark room, because I will just poop all over my pants. <laughs> You're like horrible. a hamster. Yeah, um, but basically the game is Left for Dead with xenomorphs instead of zombies, and I think that's a great idea, uh, and God willing, Gearbox will deliver. The game is slated for release next spring on the PC, PS3, and 360, with a version for the Nintendo Wii U in the works as well, which I'm told has the bloop, bloop, motion tracker in the controller, so that's awesome. You know, I feel like every dead, or every game could be penned as Left for Dead with like yeah. X instead of zombies. No, it's but true. Maybe that's Crash, Crash Bandicoot Racing is really yeah. just Left for Dead with Crash Bandicoot go-karts instead of, I'm making this shit up, read the news. Yeah, okay. So it looks like GameStop is up to their usual chicanery once again. This time they've opened up all of the new retail PC copies of Deus Ex Human Revolution and removed the promotional coupon put in place by this deal with Square Enix that allows you to get a free cloud-based version to play on live. On live is that, you know, online gaming service? GameSpy recently posted a printout of an email that was circulated throughout GameStop stores asking employees to immediately remove and discard the online coupon from all regular PC versions of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Later adding, quote, our desire is to not have this coupon go to any customers after this announcement. So this appears to be in effect for only certain GameStops. Uh, some customers have reported receiving the code in their retail PC copies. 
I happened to be at GameStop last night where I saw no less than three people trading in old games for a new copy of Deus Ex, and I don't know if it was a PC copy or an Xbox version, but you know what? If it was a PC copy, I hope they return them because this is bullshit. And you know what? If it's an Xbox copy, I hope they return it because this is bullshit. And that's hey, all I have to say what, about the matter. What GameStop were you at? Uh, the one downtown San Francisco. On Powell, Powell Street? Street? I go to that one too. There's yeah, a nice, a nice the fellow there one to me. named, uh, I think, Blake. Nice guy. Yeah, stock I'm, I'm always sort of like, you know, is someone going to recognize me? But then I realize it's Destructoid, so probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, let's, uh, we, have the, we have the full review of. Did you talk about the review of the Deus Ex? Did you no, I was going to yeah. say. Um, We've got, we, this last episode, we had Jim Sterling Skype in with his ginormous face on our huge TV, and uh, he had his glasses on, and we talked about Deus Ex for 20 minutes, so you should check that out. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, let's take a word from our sponsor. Let's do that. Okay. You guys might remember last week when we mentioned the nationwide crackdown on drunk driving, which is now in full swing. Between now and September 5th, Highway Patrol, as well as local and state police, will be out in full force looking for drunk drivers. Now, driving drunk is always an incredibly stupid thing to do, but now it's like extra stupid to do it, so drive sober or get pulled over. Each year, nearly 12,000 people die on our roads due to impaired driving. Now, that's the equivalent of if 30 jumbo jets crashed each year. Um, if airplane crashes cause that many deaths, I think a lot less people would fly, so it's sort of retarded that drunk driving is still such a problem in this day and age. Now, again, this is a nationwide initiative to bust drunk drivers, so get a designated driver, call a cab, sleep on your friend's couch, build a robot car that drives itself. Whatever you do, just don't drive drunk. Like, even if you have no concern for your own personal well-being, impaired driving is dangerous for everybody else on the road. And if nothing else, it costs millions of taxpayer dollars. So it's a stupid, selfish, dangerous thing to do. So don't do it or I'll be mad. Well, we're back and we are joined by Gian Cruz. He's the co-founder of Feel Every Yummy, which is a small indie studio based out of Washington, D.C. that's about to release their second mobile game, right? Yes. Tell us about Word Fighter. Sure. Um, so. Word Fighter is essentially Street Fighter meets Words with Friends. So if you like word games and you like fighting games at all, in the same way that um, Super, uh, Super Puzzle Fighter sort of did that with Tetris, mm -hmm. we're doing the same kind of thing with word games. I love so. word games, not a huge fan of fighting games, but this game is actually awesome. Uh, Gian approached us back in April at GDC yes. to just kind of like, he recognized us because he was a fan of the show and he came up and was like, hey, I've got this app to show you, it's awesome. And we sat there on the floor of yep. GDC yeah, playing that. it for like an sat hour. And <laughs> but and you guys have added a whole bunch of stuff we since did. then, right? Actually, yeah, this, this game actually looked very different back in the spring. Mm -hmm. But now there's a brand new art style to it, and we have six new characters that we're showing off um, at PAX. And so now, when know. we saw it back at, at GDC, it was it was it looked like Street Fighter with Scrabble tiles, and you've made yeah. some one very very big change to it. What yeah. what is that exactly? Explain oh, to our so very actually, viewers when, at home. <laughs> <laughs> when I was showing this to to you guys, Max was the one who suggested that hey, instead of Street Fighter characters, what about if you use like authors like you know Edgar Allan Poe or you know William Shakespeare <laughs> or something like that. And you guys are totally mix <laughs> missing like Matt's I'm making a face. grin right now. <laughs> yeah. You're the only like, developer who's listened to one of my crazy the, ideas. That was the seed for, that we started to run with. And we had a couple options on what the new style could be, you know, after we sort of showed it to people. Uh -huh. But we settled on this and we're so happy that we did. So I've noticed that the actual gameplay is very similar to Boggle, actually, but with a few added things like you can have special moves to go against your opponents. Yes. And we're gonna play the game, like we're gonna have a little match here in a second to show you guys actually what those are. In fact, why don't we just take a look at it now? Let's, let's, yeah, let's match let's this up. It. Yeah, it's gonna be Five Max words. versus Terra, so. <sighs> have a lot of fun. Oops, let's go ahead. I'm gonna wiggle the cord. Something's oh, happening. wiggle, yeah, okay. Is it happening? Can you guys see it up on the screen? Okay. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to be playing, well, I guess, I'll be playing as Edgar Allan Poe since I'm on this side. Oh no, you can play as Oh, Agatha. sweet. I wanna be Poe because I'm goth. There we go, so I'm playing as Agatha Christie. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about these special moves Yeah, here? certainly. Um, so this, um, every character has their own set of special moves and, and you can tap them anytime that you see in your little special bookmark area where you can use your special powers. And they do either affect the board, they change up the board, or they change up how, how much you score, or they change up how the opponent has to spell words for you, uh -huh. right? So some like scramble just gives you a brand new set of letters to play with. Um, double damage is a very simple attack multiplier, like double word score. 
but stuff like Reverse Speller and Upside Down, so are like affecting the other opponent. So if you use Reverse Speller on Max for the next 10 seconds, he has to spell everything backwards. Yeah, I get, I get dyslexic. Okay, yeah. well, how do we actually start this here? Let's, yeah, let's, let's do get this. this ball it's on now. Sure. Okay, okay, man, I suck at this so hard. <laughs> Go. Tits. Go. <laughs> I'm Edgar Allan Poe. Do not forget to use your powers. When you uh, see him, use them right away. Yeah, uh. There you go. Fizz, not a word. So not Tara a word. Man, I've two got very few once. vowels here. Yeah. Well, here, put this over there so you can spell bone. Quit. Quit? Oh. Yeah. Q U. There. Oh, shoot, he scrambled already. Damn you! Um. <laughs> tit. I'm gonna try to do tits again. Yeah, no, you can't spell tits again, so you already spelled it. Try, try the black, the, the black power right there. S O B. Ah. So now three letters are hidden from view from Tara, and she just Damn flipped it. your letters upside down. So what? have fun with that. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I'm making words here that just don't exist now. Missed. Fuck. There you that's go. A that's word. a word. Fuck Blow, yeah, it is. Blow. Bow. Um, Blow. He's doing all right. Yeah, don't forget to use those powers because they keep like replenishing. Knob. Oh gosh. Uh. Hem. Uh, Wait, I probably shouldn't say the words that I'm spelling. <laughs> it feels like a kid show when you it's, spell it's and you say. It's kind of, yeah, we're learning right now. Mike is totally a word. Oh, oh shit, it's maybe that's a, a abbreviation for microphone. Oh, good call. Rim. Shut up! Our producer's yelling at us through our earpieces. It's so close. Right now. It's like so low close. Low health on both. Uh, low health on both. Scramble, scramble. Go! go. Times two. Ah. Damn it. Uh, sit. Um, sit. Go, go. You're, you guys are so close, man. Uh, Get so two. far away. Oh my god, this is intense. Tiz. It's coming, it's coming. Someone's gonna win. Wait, Stop wait, what did you say? Our producer is cheating. He's, che he's <laughs> telling her, he's <laughs> telling her hints oh, oh, that's not fair. Damn it. You gotta use double words now. Oh, and two oh, Fuck wins. yeah, I won! Thank you, Zach! <laughs> Thank you and good night! Fuck you, math major. <laughs> so yeah. That so was, that's our game. That was intense. So you guys are revealing an extra secret character at PAX, right? We that, are. that we cannot see today. No, yeah, that was hidden from view for the for the people at home. It's good. Okay, well we won't we won't speak yeah, about that then. Definitely. Um but this game is set to come out sometime this fall, right? This fall is gonna come out on iPad, iPhone, and Android as well. Oh, score one for Android yeah. users. And you said you're looking at cross platform. Play yeah, too, we right? wanna make a point that we want Android players to play against iPhone players and vice versa, you know. All right, well thank you so much again for joining us, Gian. Oh, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Shake hands here. <laughs> uh, be sure to check Thanks, out Word Fighter on the App Store and the Android market this fall. We're gonna be seeing more of you at PAX, I'm sure, but yep. if you guys want to stay up to date on what they're doing, follow Feel Every Yummy on Twitter at Feel Every Yummy. Yes. And you guys are gonna be at PAX at the PAX tent? Yeah, we are the only mobile game representing PAX Ten, so we have a big And you're choose giving to fill, things you know. away? We are. You've um, got we have awesome swag. So <laughs> we have six characters in the game. And so we're giving away these cool little Marvel trading cards of them. Nice. And if you come challenge me as a developer or the person who made the game, if you beat me, you'll get all six cards on the spot. So, yeah. There you go. I already know I'm not going to beat we're you. We're very bad. But it's bad. nice It's okay. <laughs> all right. So if you feel like literacy and violence, check out the game. Yeah, check it out. All right, that was fun. You want to announce these contest winners? Yeah, let's do that. These are uh, these are for our, our Plants vs. Zombies contest. We had a lot of really cool submissions, which yeah. is always surprising because we'll get I you know, know little prizes, and you guys create masterpieces and send them to us. Uh, we're gonna put up all the submissions on our Facebook page in a couple of days. Uh, but in the meantime, we are giving away these uh, you know little little figurines and these these fun hats. Um, yeah. So Tara, what were your what were your picks? So uh, our first choice was Anthony Gonzalez. Thank you, sir, for being literally the only person who did not draw me with a gigantic pair of green plant breasts. I appreciated that, because plants don't have breasts, you guys. That's Come silly. Come on. That's a great picture. That's, I like, that's, <laughs> that's some that CG. That was good. Actually, I'm really curious how he did that. That's, that, it's hard yeah. to see on the screen, maybe, but that's all, that's all CG. He created yeah. our set in beautiful polygons. With computers. So. Yes. Uh, second up, we got Joseph Farrell. These aren't in any type of order, by the way, just, you know, how we picked them. I thought this one was adorable. This was actually one of the first submissions that we got. I once tried to do that when I was drunk. I tried to bite her in the hair. Really? No. Was I, I, I passed up. out? Possibly. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if it was you. It could have been some other some other ginger. Anyway, my choice is I picked uh, the Nephilim. Who, uh, who made this masterpiece. I like that Tara has ginormous uh, plant tits, which I thought was cool. <laughs> you know what, Look Actually, at those, look at those uh, pendulum seed pods, lovely. But uh, yeah, that's, 
That's my face that I make. Nice and colorful. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Mark Goldling, who did two submissions that are together. And Holy look shit. at those. Good God. Um, that is actually currently my new Facebook picture. Because, I mean, my friends and family already stopped talking to me, so... Fuck them, I'm a zombie now. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's amazing about this? I actually thought that everybody who submitted like hand-drawn portraits of us did a really good job of making our faces actually look like us. Yeah. And I'm terrible at drawing people's faces like to any degree of accuracy whatsoever. So yeah, kudos that's... to you guys, very impressive. Um, and thanks again for entering. We're gonna contact the winner shortly, um, but we probably won't send these prizes yeah, out till after packs because we're cause... gonna be super busy. Yeah. In the meantime, speaking of packs, our schedule is gonna be a little wonky this week because of it. Instead of our usual Friday release, we're gonna be releasing a full packs preview episode tomorrow, which is Thursday. And then we're going to be doing live streams on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings. So no regular episodic release on Friday. Instead, we're, instead we're going to be releasing a shit ton of episodes all day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, featuring all sorts of stuff. We're going to have hands-on impressions, uh, gameplay footage, much, much more. So be sure to subscribe if you are not already. The button's right up there. And keep checking youtube.com slash detoid and revision3.com slash packs for the latest. Yeah, we're going to have a fun weekend. Anything and else we'll to add before we head out to Seattle? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Are subscribe. You? We'll subscribe. see you soon. We're going to have a good weekend. See you guys at PAX.